All right, my little pumpkins, here are three instant boosters to your confidence. Hi, I'm Ulrike and I'm here to help you find your voice. Sometimes we all feel small. We identify with our small ego, which has problems, which has karma, which has likes and dislikes and reactions and actions. It's a valid point of view. However, who you truly are is divine. So every time you have a choice, you have an awareness, identify with that, go back into yourself, identify with that truth, capital T truth, that you already are divine. And there is no way that divine is not pure confidence because there's nothing to prove. There's total peace. There's total acceptance. There is total love. And that is who you are. That was number one. Two, make it manifest in the body in order to believe, truly believe who you are is divine and that you are entitled to feel confident as such. You've got to train your muscle memory. You've got to teach your body where you live and where you don't live. Two, number two is that when you lean into the problem, your small self hanging down, leaning down, leaning forward, or leaning back, not caring. Both of those, you are not aligned with truth. You're not aligned with divine. But your body is in fact the antenna between heaven and earth. So why wouldn't you use it as that instrument? When you are in your center, meaning feeling lifted from the top of the head, being on your sits bones if you're sitting, standing straight and not straight, but straight, floopy straight, lifted from here, chin leveled with the floor, when you're in that space, you feel differently. You feel like the antenna between heaven and earth. You have better intuition. You can listen to divine guidance. And in that is the confidence. you got to train your body that. That, is ha that has to go into your muscle memory. Three, where do you think true confidence comes from? It comes from feeling powerful. Now, I'm not talking about the power that grabs, the power that controls, the power that is given away because you're oh, ever so humble. I'm not talking about any of those relative powers, either leaning forward, grabbing, or leaning back, pretending you don't care. I'm talking about the power that you already are, which is divine, which is pure confidence, which is pure source, which is pure love. Where does it live in your body? Where do you think? Oh, 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 oh. That's right. It lives in your power chakra. There's a very simple way you can activate your power chakra. So be straight in your body. Lift here. Also lift behind the upper molars. The cheek, cheek, the upper cheeks go up. And then you simply pretend you're Santa Claus. Santa Claus has good power, has a strong power chakra. He's smirky. He's happy. He's smiling. And he knows where his personal power is. And he's very relaxed in it, right? He goes... Ho, 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 ho. This has to move. Ho, 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 ho. You see my hand move? This is where the power comes from. And when that is the, the case, then your throat is open and your mind and your heart are connected. And that is the confidence that you got to train your body to have in any kind of situation. No matter what is grabbing you, know, who is ticking you off, what the situation is that you're in, what story you've been told, what story you tell yourself, it doesn't matter. That is in the relative. That's in the small ego. You want to identify with divine. You want to teach your body, the muscle memory, where divine lives, which is in your center, straight, not leaning forward or back. And you want to activate it in a practical way, that power. And it's in your power chakra, where your personal power is. And when you feel strong there, simply by doing this, Ho, 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 ho. Lifting these guys up, very important. You don't want to be a mopey center. Ho, ho, ho. You want to be ho, 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 ho. Very full of yourself in a good way, in a loving way, in an altruistic way, not in a grabby way. You want to activate that power chakra. And that is as important for people who have a control issue for, or for, and for people who feel they're the meek ones. They have to let other people make decisions. Believe me, I was the latter for the first many decades of my life. And this has helped me so much drop into my personal power. So practice these three tips. Like if you liked it, practice it, share it, and follow for more. Love you. Bye.